Hi, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, um, I recently got married in this apartment about two feet that way and we decided that we are going to get a brand new puppy. She is going to be eight weeks old when we pick her up on Monday and she is an English mini cream dachshund long-haired she is so cute cutest thing i've ever seen and we were really excited to pick her up and we decided we are going to do a series on our new puppy um, we are not experts this is our first time having a dog so you will be there every step of the way with us um, but we are going to go pick her up this weekend and we packed a ton of things so today we're going to show you what we are bringing with us when we go pick up our new puppy um, and honestly just impressed with how much fits in this bag. So if you guys want any of the things that we show today, I'm dropping all of the things in um, the description, so feel free to go click on those. But this bag honestly holds everything, which I'm so excited about. So just walk through what we have in here. We are bringing a snuggle puppy. Um, it actually has a heartbeat inside, so this is supposed to help puppies feel like they have a little friend of them so they're not alone so we have a snuggle puppy i've heard great things from any of my friends that have used this with their puppy so we'll see how it goes with bailey little first aid kit because why not <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen let's see what else we have in here um this bag actually came with two of these containers. You can put food in them. Um, right now we have some puppy food in this one. We just put them in little containers for now. And then in this other one, we brought some different training treats. Um, we want to make sure that we teach some of the first I don't know, tricks or obedience training um, in the very beginning. So we're bringing some of these. And then there are so many different things in here. Um, we are bringing a little harness. Um, I love all the harnesses by this brand. Little itty bitty one because she is going to be a very tiny. And then what else do we have in here? Um, this bag also came with some travel sized food bowls. So they just pop out like that. Make them smaller. And they pop right back. Um, we're going to be spending the first night um, at Erin's family's house, um, so that's why we're bringing so much. Um, we are bringing a urine destroyer, just in case little Bailey pees everywhere. <laughs> so that is another thing coming. Let's see what else. We have a retractable leash, as well as another leash that we can just um, keep on her to keep her nearby. Um, we see. we'll see how that goes. We have to get raised to all the things. Um, car seat belt. So we have about a, anywhere from six to eight hour drive, depending on traffic. So, um, we have this little seat belt, um, to keep her, um, in place in the car. So she's not trying to, you know, run all over the back seat. So we have this. Um, we got this brush. We may not use it this weekend, but we kind of want to get her um, desensitized to certain things. So we may bring this out and have her sniff it a little bit and kind of get used to what it is before we actually use it on her. All right, and this bag just keeps on going. <laughs> um, we have a nice towel just in case uh, we need any cleanup. We can also use it as a blanket, so it never hurts to have a towel, um, especially in the car. There is you know, a little bit of a mess, at least we have this covered. Alright, same thing, have smaller towels if we need to wipe her down if she gets dirty, um, which hopefully she won't. We're going to try to keep her really clean, especially at the beginning, but extra little towels. Um, if she does get into a grassy area, we also want to wipe her down. Um, she won't have all of her shots. So we have, um, this is from Bird's Bees, but just some wipes to wipe off her paws or underside if she does um, go in the grass. Alright, what else? Lots of little items in here. So we got a few different um, toys. We're bringing this little donut. It's so cute. It has a little squeaker in it. Where is it? Somewhere. There it is. 
little squeaker. So I think since she's really tiny, she'll enjoy this one a lot, but we'll find out. We have um, a few of these little pink like tennis balls that are really small for puppies. Um, we have a few more, but we're just going to bring one and see if she likes this. And then we also have a little puppy Kong um, that you can fill, and we're going to just see if we can like put some treats in here, if that's something that will keep her occupied, and see if she likes that. A lot of this is just going to be testing and seeing what she likes, what she doesn't like. Um, let's see. We brought a couple different collars. We're not sure exactly what's going to fit her. Um, they're actually cat collars and small dog collars. They have little bells in them. So that way, since she's really tiny, we'll be able to hear her moving around. Um, love the design on this one, if you can see it. And this one is just kind of like a black leather collar. So we'll see what fits her, um, what she likes, and hopefully get her used to them and see how it goes. And we also have a clicker that we're bringing um, to help with initial obedience training. Um, we're not sure if we're going to use these a ton, but we're going to try them out. Uh, we follow Zach George and he uses these a ton, so um, we're going to see how that goes. Okay, we're almost clearing out in here. Um, this is one thing I'm so excited about. I started getting a ton of ads. Um, but it's just a little puppy water bottle and you can have it locked. So you turn it over, no water comes out. And then um, if you unlock it, you can let a little bit of water out. Your puppy can drink right from here. And then any unused water, you can just hold it back and it'll go back into the bottle. So excited to try this out with her. Um, I'm sure it'll come in handy a ton, not just this weekend, but anytime we go on hikes or go for um, long walks, anything like that. So excited to use this. And, alright, one more thing that I kept in a side pocket of this bag. We have another clicker and then what we want easy access to. <laughs> this little um, poop bag dispenser. So we have this. I'm sure this will come in handy. This will probably be our favorite thing. Um, fits in this little side pocket here. And then I wanted to talk a little bit more about this bag. This bag is amazing. So everything I just pulled out fit in this bag. Um, there are a couple of different compartments in here. Uh, there's this zipper at the top for kind of smaller items. Um, there is an area in the very front of it as well. It has the side pocket I just showed. And then also in the back, um, there's another like mesh section back here. And then another cool thing is you'll see there's a gap right here. So if you're ever traveling and want to put this bag on top of a suitcase, you can actually fit um, like that suitcase um, handle through here and have it rest on top of the suitcase. So I'm obsessed with this bag. I know we'll probably end up traveling a lot eventually <laughs> once it is safe, um, but really excited to take advantage of this bag when we travel. Okay, so that, that's pretty much all the stuff. Um, we also have this little carrier that we bought for her. I think it's really cute. I love that there are um, areas she can see out of on every single side, including the top. And you can unzip it from almost any side, which is really great. Um, so opening this up. Open it from this side. Show you guys. I have a couple things in here. I have a little um, toy. I'll bring these out. The little raccoon. This has squeakers. Three of them. Um, but it's very light, so I think even if she's tiny, she'll be able to like bite onto a little section of this and just like pull it around. Um, I know we had a similar toy uh, that we gave to another puppy, and he absolutely loved it. So I'm hoping she loves this too. And then we have a little just like Nyla bone um, for her to chew on in case that she wants to chew on something. So I'm going to keep these in here with her um, in the carrier to hopefully occupy her, make it a little bit more comfortable. And it has this really cute soft um, lining at the bottom that can be uh, washed and it has a hard bottom. Um, so it, it's a sturdy carrier, but it's still soft enough where I think it'll be really comfortable. So. Um, hopefully she likes it, doesn't mind it, I'll give her some treats in there. But that is everything that we are bringing down with us this weekend. Um, if you want, again, to see any of these products that we got, um, check the description and they have links to all of them. 
Um, and if you want to see more videos of this, see Bailey in action uh, once we pick her up. We will be making an entire puppy series. So be sure to subscribe and you'll be able to see all of those videos coming up.